please welcome our dear friend, Carla to myself like you and I were meant to be together because we're so enthusiastic and similar. Oh, I know. Totally. And I said, if anybody can play with me, it's you. I love you. Because when you raise your energy, I raise my energy. And like, oh. It's like, I just feel less alone on this exactly. planet when I'm with you. I'm like, oh, Carla gets it. And I'm really excited about today's dish. Tell us all about it. Yes. So we're going to do a white bean soup with a coconut oil and it is like it's oh so we have the beans and they've been cooking for about 40 minutes and it's just water water and beans okay. and then we're going to add in the onions which are already cut here okay and then we're going to add some um, slivered garlic now i would like to introduce two very special guests that we have joining us here is cbs2 new york anchor steve obermeyer <laughs> person because, well, you're always on my TV at home, so oh, it's so a little sweet. surreal to break that wall down. Hi, Steve. <laughs> wow. Welcome here. I'm very happy to see you. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much. And um, you also brought another marathoner, Tom. Yes. Please introduce us. Back in 1977, this man set the Guinness World Record running from New York to San Francisco in 53 days. He is a legend in the ultramarathon community, and now, at the age of 71, he's going to be running another 100-mile race before the New York City Marathon for the Tunnel to Towers Foundation for the families of 9-11. <laughs> um, okay, Carla, I want to make sure we're putting everything in properly. Okay, no, so Was we there... have the onions and the garlic in here, and then we're going to add all of these, like, little business things. We've got some celery seeds. We have some chili flakes. We've got this smoked salt. We're going to add that in there, okay? And then we're going to just press. We're going to actually, we have our little immersion blender. Hold on. I love an immersion blender. I really do. It's um, a really good piece to invest in in your kitchen. I and love that. You don't have that. to go too smooth. You're gonna have some chunks of beans. Okay, that's a that's another hot tip because we don't want baby food, right? Oh my God! So I good. get it now. Tom, what do you normally eat before a marathon? Well, I'm kind of the old school. I stick to bread, butter, and jam mostly for me, and a uh, little bit of chocolate. And then let me ask you a question. Have you ever finished a marathon and just what is the treat that you give yourself? Oh, oh butter chocolate. More butter and chocolate. <laughs> Carla, um, you are also a marathon runner. I ran a marathon, yes. <laughs> when was that and how was that? It was in 1940. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, just kidding, just kidding. I'm just, I'm, I was born in 1964. Um, it was, I was 40 years old, and um, I ran it in uh, four hours and one minute. Oh. Like 26 miles? <laughs> um, 26.2. So, Tom, when you saw, like, Forrest Gump, well, uh, were you like, yeah? Uh -huh. Well, he he copied me, and he didn't ask permission. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where's mine? By the way, um, I, I I am loving this. I am so happy. Should I put a little olive oil mm -hmm. on top? Um, Steve and Tom, what have you tried your soup yet? Not oh. yet. We, we haven't been given the clearance in, yet. Are we ready in? to go? Okay. Oh yeah. Are you gonna eat those mm. peppercorns like that? Sometimes what I do with peppercorns also like. I just, mm, how about that? like, I'll just do a, um, there we go. Oh, that's so perfect. Right? Yeah. Oh, that's so, oh my God. Right? I love you in the kitchen. I love you in the kitchen. I love you everywhere, Carla. I like that also we went with the big spoon mm -hmm. here. <laughs> no. I love you so much. It's, it's about taking a big bite out of life. That's right. It? Can I tell you about this cornbread that they also have? Oh my God, why am I not eating the cornbread? <laughs> yeah, so we have this cornbread because my, my cookbook 
my um, children's book is Carla and the Christmas Cornbread, and so it happens to be gluten free, but it's full of fat because you'll love it before the. Oh my God! Yeah, and then we make a cinnamon butter. Oh. Right? It's butter, softened, cinnamon, almond extract, and a little bit of salt. You guys, this is incredible. Lovely. Yeah, you got to lovely. So, Tom, you have a movie that just came out on Friday. Will you tell us about it? Yeah, it's the story of uh, basically of my life, the ups and downs of my life. I uh, was a runner, and then I developed into an alcoholic. I went down the path where I went into the hospital and the doctors told me on no uncertain terms that I had a week to 10 days to live. And if I don't change right now, right here and then, I would die. So I promised God, I promised my wife and daughter, that if I got out of that hospital, I would run. And ever since that, I've run thousands and thousands and thousands of miles to help people in need, especially those that tend to abuse alcohol, but putting it on the big screen, I, I hope I will help somebody somewhere. I'm sure that you will, Tom, and thank you so much for sharing that with and us. the name of it is Saved by My Feet. Saved by My Feet, and we'll have that up on the website. Uh -huh. Thank you. And Steve, I'm so happy to meet you in person, and may thank we do this again together. I would love that, please. I'm, especially if there's going to be food here for me, you're going to have me here. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Steve Overmeyer and Tom McGrath. Carla Hall is going to stick around, and after the break, we're going to answer all of your turkey questions ahead of Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble, turkey hotline. Woo!